Good morning. Hi guys. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Technical difficulties as always. Good morning everybody. Hope you're okay. Sorry I'm a little bit late today. Five minutes late. That's terrible, isn't it? Good morning. Sorry. Having to restart phones and things. Good morning everybody. Hope you're all okay. Cup of tea. It's Friday. We made it everybody. We did really well. We made it through another week. Um, so, I don't know what's happening in Bristol. Um, by the way, I don't watch the weather, so I'm, the weather is always a surprise to me. So, it's a bit cloudy and overcast today in Bristol, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? So, I don't know if you've got gorgeous sunshine where you are, or whether it's like this in the rest of the country. Good morning, everybody. But, yeah, it's a bit, it's fine. It's not, it's still quite nice, but um, not as wonderful as, as it was yesterday. But, good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. We have made it. Good morning. You've got it sunny there. Lovely. Lucky you. Make the most of it. Hopefully, it looks like, you know when it looks like the sun will burn through it. So hopefully we will get the sun later. So I'm back in my long sleeved tops after yesterday. Ah, so someone is just saying that Instagram doesn't give you notifications if I'm on live. So, um, the best thing you can do is... If you go on my profile, on my main page, and there should be some little dots in the corner. If you top, tap those and press um, turn on notifications, it will alert you. So then you can join in. Good morning. Where is the sun in Bristol? Exactly. Where is it? I think it's going to burn here and come later. I was just saying, no, I don't actually watch the weather. So the weather's always a bit of a surprise to me. So I have no clue what's going on. Right, so shall we get started today? Um, yeah, so we're going to do water bees, as I know lots of people... Well, super. Um, water bees. <laughs> we're going to do water bees this morning. Um, I get quite a lot of questions about them, so I always like to link my lines to things that people are asking about. You might have tried them before, um, it might be something new, you've probably seen them a lot on Instagram and those sorts of pages. Good morning. Oh, lovely. Someone's got nice and sunny where you are. Enjoy it, Sophie. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, some of you may have tried water bees before, so hopefully I can just give you a few ideas of something else to do with them. And um, some of you might not have and would like to have a little go if you've seen them. They are a super duper cheap resource that you can use. However, they do come with some um, safety warnings that I will give you in a moment. So, good morning. Mm -hmm. So sorry. Ooh, have I lost you? Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry, I was just on Instagram and I've lost it. Are you still there, Instagram? Can you still see me? Can you still see me? Because I can't see you. Okay, do you know what that was? That was my husband ringing me. You'd think he'd know now at 10 o'clock not to call, wouldn't you? He'll be, he'll be panicking now. All right, I can't see you. Could you just give me a wave, a wave or something? Just, yeah, you guys can see me because I'll, I'll just carry on. I'm just a bit worried it's going to record a black screen, that's all. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, my only concern is when I save it later, it, that you might not be able to see anything. We'll just have to gamble, won't we? Okay, so this is a bit strange, I'm talking to a black screen, but never mind. So we'll keep on going. So we were going to do, um, oh my goodness, I can't believe my husband's done that. Oh, he's in trouble today. Um, right, thank you, you can see me. Okay, I'm just concerned, for me it's a black screen, I'm just concerned when I save it later that people won't be able to see anything. Never mind. Um, you can all blame my husband, he can be in big trouble for that. Okay, so water beads today is what we're doing. Um, I get lots and lots of questions about these. I just want to say, however, I am not an expert on these. I've just played with them myself before. Um, I never actually did them when I was teaching in school. I hadn't heard of them before. Um, well, as my husband, he um, just rang me, so he cut out my live on Instagram, so don't worry. Um, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've not actually used them in school before. However, since having made some, they've become a really popular resource. So I, I've been using them at home, however, I'm no expert on this, so I will try my best to answer any questions and try and help you as much as I can. Um, but yeah, so let's see how we get on, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to start off 
Right, water beads. You can buy, I have always bought my water beads on Amazon. They used to always come from China. However, there are a lot more um, accounts on Instagram, on Amazon now that sell them in the UK. So I've never actually bought them from the UK. When I used to buy them, they were coming from China. When they arrive, they're, they're dirt cheap. You can buy literally 10,000 water beads for about two pounds. So they're dirt, dirt cheap. Um, he is in the doghouse. So this is what they look like when they arrive, if you've not seen them before. Sorry for anyone that knows water beads. Um, I'm just covering for anyone that has never seen them before, tried them so that they know. So these are the water beads. I'm just showing really close to the camera so you can see them. They come absolutely tiny. These are the green ones. Sometimes when you order them, you can get a bag and they are mixed. They are mixed colours. Other times they can come, mine have come sorted. These I ordered, oh, I reckon these are about a year old now, so it hasn't been for ages. Um, so, yeah, they come in tiny little beads. They come either in mixed or they come in colour sorted. Now then, all you need to do is tip them out and put them into the water. I did these half an hour ago and they've already grown. Can you see that? So they're growing already. The best time to do this is overnight. Pop them in, put the water in. Now then, on the instructions, it says to use 400 millimetres of water. However, I am one of those annoying people that cannot follow a recipe. So I just chuck water in and try and do more than you think. So I always more than, like really cover the beads, loads and loads of water in because they do expand quite quickly. Um, there, can you see them? They're starting to expand. You can tell they're not quite ready because they're just a bit bobbly. They're a bit hard to hold. I can't really... Can you see? So they're growing. They're not at full size yet. Um, and just chuck loads of water in. Leave them overnight. When you come in the morning, if there's too much water, the water will sit on top. You can just drain them off. If there's not enough, you can just top them up again. Okay. Yeah, Mason would just like to say hi. Excuse me, everybody. Well, you sit that side for me. There we go, okay? So, um, yeah, so these have literally been cooking in the water for half an hour and they're starting to grow already, so they really won't take long. Now then, I'm going to give you the safety warnings, okay? When you look for these on Amazon, they do say that they are not suitable for children. That is partially the companies covering their back because... They're not made of anything natural. I don't know what they're made of, but they're very plasticky, very jelly-y. Um, so they say that they're not suitable for children, and they're not. I would not want Mason to be eating these. Luckily, um, I've used these at an age with Mason when he's not been tasting things and not been trying things. If your little one is still prone to exploring and putting things in their mouths, um, then I've got a couple of ways that you can explore it with them in a safe way. However, I wouldn't just present them with a bowl of these. I wouldn't want them um, consuming them. I don't know what the side effects are, but I wouldn't want it. Uh, and I, I have actually seen warnings about uh, with animals as well, about animals using them to make them extremely poorly. Um, I'm really strict with Mason when he plays with these, um, that he mustn't, because the only thing is, I'm gonna sh I haven't shown you at full size, have I? So these are the water beads at full size. Can you see that? Um, and um, the thing is, because they're like a jelly-like substance, they bounce and they go all over the place on a hard floor. So it's really important that you don't have dogs or cats around and you lock them out of the way. I normally lock um, our dog out of the kitchen because I'm nervous of him eating them. He is the type of dog that would lick something up. Uh, and it's just that they want not to use those. Um, so that's that's the warnings really about using these. So they're not to be consumed. Someone on here is saying, and rightly so, tapioca bit pearls. Um, lots of people say work in the same way and they are taste safe and you can use those. I've never actually used those myself, um, but I've heard really great things about them. So you can use tapioca pearls instead. Um, however, I will show you some ways, if you do already have water bees and want to use them with your little one, I can show you how they can still explore them in a safe way without them putting them in their mouths. So Mason's just having a little play. Can I just take them, Mason, just show the camera? So this is, I have a big container and I just keep mine in here. We're running a bit low because a lot have been squashed, a lot have been damaged um, and that sort of thing. I can also show you that we once had, 
you can buy when you're buying them, you can buy the larger ones. Oops, they're about that size. However, I didn't find them very useful, to be honest, because, because they're bigger, they're mo more prone to wanting to squash them and squeeze them. So they're not, um, they're all right. I just don't think they're as great when they're big. I prefer them smaller, they bounce, they have a really great sensation. It's a shame you can't see it for a minute. I just tilt you. He's, in that, he's actually stood here next to me playing with them and I'm gonna show you what he's doing with them in a moment. So yeah, that's that's just a word of warning. So you will see that. Yes, um, Mason's just exploring them at the moment. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave those to the side. You can see those and hopefully by the end we'll see what they look like. <laughs> they are lovely. Um, they have a real jelly-like feel to them if you've not tried them before. It's like putting your hand in a bowl of jelly and water, to be honest. It's a really lovely sensation. They're really great to explore. Loads of sensory elements for little ones, so they're really great. Um, I just needed to put out those safety warnings to begin with, just so that you know. Okay, so here now are a couple of ideas of things that you can do with them. So first of all, I was saying that, um, yeah, they have, I just keep mine in a big um, container box like this. Um, what I would do is, when I've explored them before with Mason, I've used, you know, the under the bed storage box, popping those in there, really great because it's got a high side, but the best, best place you can do water beads is in the bath, an empty bath or an empty shower tray just because they've got the high sides and it's great for containing the mess. And it, just like I was saying that if you've got a dog or a cat and you don't want them to get onto the, uh, you don't want them to consume them, uh, they can have a good old plate and they can bounce around, but they will stay contained. So that's a really great space. If not, if you've got a tusk spot or something like that, really brilliant, but I still put mine in an under the bed storage box, sat on top of a tusk spot, because trust me, these things bounce, they will go for miles. Um, so that's just a really handy uh, handy thing to do. And then, of course, if you've got them out, I do, we use lots of like the stainless steel Ikea cooking things and spoons, because not only are they great, they're great on their own just to feel and play with. Um, they're great using with their hands, but also you can use tools. Um, so I'm just watching this one. Lots of cooking things, um, lots of big bowls and spoons and lots of mixing and stirring. They can do all that sort of stuff and it's really great. So that's a really fun activity. You may have seen um, yesterday, in one moment, I'm just talking. Um, you may have seen that, was it yesterday or the day before? Day before, I think, we tried them with um, shaving foam and just dotted some of our water bees in the shaving foam. That's okay, keep them in the box, mate. Um, and that had a really strange sensation. It was brilliant, but felt very strange. So that's a really nice way of playing with them. Okay, Mace, please don't empty them. Sorry, I've got three of all here, just about to empty them all here. Um, I then mentioned about, oh, we've got our favourite thing. Um, I then mentioned, right, if you want to try them with your little one in a safe place. So, a really way way of doing nice way of doing it if you've got really young ones and you want to keep them safe and no chance of them eating it it just put them in a ziploc bag seal it and put on some sellotape and then they feel really lovely you can maybe take down the bag onto their high chair or something like that and they they can then just squash them and put them in their hands they can feel them they can rub them about they can move them and they feel really brilliant and they they it's still actually really nice even if it's in the bag you could also add the shaving foam in there as well and that'd be quite nice so that's a good way if you're nervous of your little ones still eating them that you could try that. Then I'm going to give you a handy tip here. Another way that you can do it as well is by filling a balloon and putting the, scent, the water beads in here. It feels lovely for little ones and there's a bit of a trick for filling these up okay. So if you do want to fill up a little balloon I would have a little plastic bottle and a funnel. Can I just take some of these water beads please? And then fill up the water beads. It's really hard to see what you can see on camera. Just pushing them on in. Oops. Typical, I practiced this earlier and it was fine. Can you see I'm just filling up the bottle? Thing is, I've got some chunks of bigger ones in here, so it doesn't help. Sorry, this is a bit boring to watch. Really 
how to do it while your three-year-old trying to play with them? Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? No, no, no. I need to use it. No. Okay, so just can you see I'm just filling up my bottle. I'm trying to do it with a funnel, but it's making stall in the No, I need the bottle, darling. No, I need the bottle. No, you can have it afterwards. I just need it to the video. So can you see I've just filled up the bottle? I'm gonna wipe my hands. And then place your balloon over the end of the bottle. Can you see it like that? And then turn it upside down and squeeze them out. And just keep squeezing and it will soon fill up your balloon. Oh, I can get, get it back off again. Oh, there we go. Look! Andy. Typical, isn't it? I did it a minute ago and it's fine. There we go. So, taking the thing off. And you can see that that's now full of the water bees and they can squash and they can squeeze them and they still feel really lovely. Feels a little bit like what I imagine frog spawn feels like. And they can have a good old squash and a squeeze. So if you've got a little one and you're nervous of them eating them, a Ziploc bag, sealed and sellotaped is nice, or even having them in a water balloon. I'd probably put more in than that, just because I'm conscious of you guys sat watching me. And then they can have a really good squash and a feel and it feels really funny. So I'll just empty that one out. Okay, we're making a right old mess here. Um, then I was saying as well that these are the from the Learning Resources tools. These are really lovely, and they sorry, someone spilled it with trucks. And these are really lovely for using with them as well because they can pick them up and pull them. And Mason is three and a half, so now is at the point of being able to use these because they they can be quite tricky for them opening and closing them with their hands. So they're a really nice tool to use with them. And then, if you can bear with me one moment. No, 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 stay there, please. I forgot to get these out for you. I was going to let them thaw a little bit. So, I froze them. Can you see that? I'm oh, alive, not great, is it? Um, I froze in the water beads. So, you can freeze them. Let them thaw a little bit before they start playing with them. And then they go back into their like jelly sort of form. Oh, they've not quite frozen in the middle, so they're good. So they're a bit crusty and a bit crunchy. And these are great for using with tools and things, particularly if you've got tough spot, particularly if you're out in the garden today, want a bit of a cooling down activity. And they can play with these and they can explore them. They can smash them with the hammers and it is just loads and loads of fun. So you can freeze water beads. There they are. And whenever I freeze them, I do lots of trays and I do a really thin layer just so that they're much easier to be able to break off individually. I would always let them thaw out slightly before Mason starts playing with them, just so they don't get that stickiness and stick to their hands. Um, but yeah, so you can um, freeze the water beads. That's a fun activity, particularly while the weather's so lovely. And then finally, our favorite activity, which actually Mason is stood here doing. We've got, Jamie can't see the, the um, kitchen side because it's such a mess. Can I move this this way, Mason? So if anyone's seen this, it's okay. I'm just showing that. I'm showing the camera. I'm showing the camera. Look. Yeah. So this is a marble run. If you've not seen one before, marble runs a brilliant toy. Um, you can pr nearly always get them on like Gumtree, charity shops, secondhand um, car boot sales, things like that. You can get them for dirt cheap. They're originally used for marbles, and you can put marbles in. And the idea is, is that the little one can build them up. So you get lots of different pieces and they make tall towers which are hollow so you can put the marbles in and they roll down and they roll down all the different sections but they also work really great for the water beads as well because they can pull them in drop them in and they go through all the different routes particularly those ones that haven't been squashed because they're so bouncy they're just brilliant they're great to watch going down you can they, and as you can see mason is just constructing it here so he's building his and then he can play. So water beads with a marble run is just brilliant. I would do this in some sort of, if you have got some big water tray, it's nice if they're mixed with water, a little bit of water as well, um, or again, your tusk spot on or an empty um, bath or something like that, an empty shower tray, because this is quite a big construction that the beads will go everywhere. And like I've said, if you've got hard surfaces, they bounce and they go everywhere. Uh, so yeah, this is our favorite one that I wanted to show you this morning is our marble run so Mason's just making it up and actually if you don't have a marble run if you have any of those um you know those sort of um things in the bath where you can tip them through and the propeller goes round you know those all those sort of bath toys and um, just have a little look if the holes are big enough like this it's 
got quite a big hole. The holes are big enough, they'll work great for the um, pouring the water beads in and have a little go. So get, if you've got any of the lovely pipes that stick on the side of the bath or anything like that, they would work really well. And again, if you've got any just um, simple guttering or any pieces of pipe, leftover pipe, anything like that, um, a set of um, pair of scoops or some of these tools or even just handfuls of water beads, drop them down and they can wash them with round and it's just loads of fun. Particularly on days like today when you're going to be, if you're out in the garden. Cool, brilliant. Oh, thank you. It's really strange because I can't see on Instagram. I can't see anything. Thank you, bye bye. <laughs> thank you, bye bye. That's it. All right, so we're going to finish there. I think Mason's done. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in this morning. I hope when I say that you guys can I'm see it. I'm nearly finished. You're nearly finished, are you? Keep going, you're nearly done. You need to try turning that one over. That might work. Um, so, yeah, if you have a little go with water beads today, let us know. I'm just going to give you a little. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's nearly half past. So these have been in about an hour. These have been set in the water about an hour and the water's nearly run out. So I'm just going to top those up. You see, they already feel really lovely and you could keep them at that. Or you just keep pouring them in and they go to about a centimetre. So I'm just going to add some more water. Do it overnight, it's the easiest thing. Um, yeah, let me know if you have a little go. Let me know if you have what a go with me. Get the Okay, no problem. Um, let me know if you have a go with the tapioca beads, if, um, pearls, if anyone's having a go with children that are still tasting things. Um, I've never actually tried that, but I've heard loads of amazing things that it can be really great. So, yeah. Um, send me a fan mail, send me what you're doing today so I can share them. And my offer on the um, play plants is still going until midnight tonight. So if, you'd want, if you are wanting to get an order in, I am putting freebie gifts in with every order this week. And there have been a lot of freebies sent out. Um, and then check, keep your eye on for later as I will be... Um, ah, someone is saying if you use warm water, it speeds up the transformation which is fantastic, you could always try warm water. Um, I am going to be posting your play homework later today, so keep your eye out, because that is coming. Always dead easy, always just a bit of fun, um, but just a new way of playing, maybe. So, yeah. All right, should we finish there? Um, enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all of your support. On Instagram, I am very close to hitting 30,000, which is a bit exciting. Um, it's not ever really been a numbers game, but... That's quite exciting. Um, so yeah, so keep your eye out for that. I'm going to have to do some sort of giveaway competition now for that. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy Bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. See you guys.